One thing that definitely won't be beneficial for the Browns, uh, Joel Batonio, a guy you hate to see miss it, the longest tenured Brown. How big of a loss is that on that offensive line that's been a strength uh, of this team? Yeah, it's yeah. well. There's two things, right? There's there's the fact that Joel misses a playoff game, and and he's been with Cleveland since 2014, and he's seen some depths of the franchise not many guys have seen, and stuck around and and been able to play at the caliber. I think that's what's important. Obviously, you know, Joe Thomas is this is the bar setting uh, person for that situation, and and playing through it and playing at a high level. But Joel is right behind him, and I know Joel down the first seven years Joe was, but. As far as carrying the baton and moving forward and being a big part of things on the offensive line and forming, uh, uh, finally forming a player that has some consistency uh, at, at a high level, he was it. And for him to miss a playoff game, it just it just sucks. It sucks for him to get this opportunity and the rug to be pulled out from underneath him. And you know maybe Cleveland wins and 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 that'd be awesome. And he gets back and maybe he can play in the second round. Or maybe they go again next year. Who knows? You never know what the future has in store. But for now, it just it stinks. And from a from a protection standpoint, we all know how uh, you know much better Baker Mayfield is when he's not pressured. That's no secret. They're, they're, every quarterback in the NFL is better when they're not pressured, but particularly Baker is when he feels comfortable in the pocket. He can he can pick people apart. We've seen it this year. We've seen it during his recent hot stretch. It is something that he is he's it's a part of what defenses have to do. They know they have to get pressure on him, and when they don't, uh, they 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 feel like he takes his play to another level and. Uh, they have this guy named Cam Hayward in Pittsburgh, who's who's ridiculously talented, longtime uh, NFL high caliber Pro Bowl All Pro player. We know him from his Ohio State days, um, and he's going to be ready to to eat. It could be it could be Michael Dunn, it could be Kendall Lamb. They move inside for the first time in his career. I don't know what they ultimately do. It's it's extremely tough. I think Nick Harris is obviously out, as we see there. It's it's. They signed Blake Hans, but he hasn't been around long enough to really feel comfortable. I, I, it's not ideal. It's really yeah. not ideal, and it's a tough spot with a really good player ready off of a fresh week where you know Cam didn't didn't play in week 17. So uh, you keep your fingers crossed that they can tilt the, the protection that way as often as they can. You'll probably see them get out of empty, keep a back in the backfield a little bit to help, but. Um, it's just a uh, let's try to mitigate the damage with with Cam as much as we possibly can and, and really hope for the best. And the thing that's tough, too, is this this offensive line is very good. And it, but they rely on all five being on the same page. The, the the zone blocking wide zone stretch is it's important that everybody's in perfect cohesion, perfect communication, passing off players at the first level to get to the second level. They obviously love what Joel's able to do in, 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 in pulling concepts, power counter schemes. He gets out and he's great in space. So some of those things get taken away from you now in terms of just feeling really comfortable about doing them, and adds an extra wrinkle to uh, to to what you're what you're going to have to overcome. So um, not 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 I don't know Baker Mayfield's probably your most important person not to lose, but Joel is up there, and it's it's a tough loss.